Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Instruments of Destruction. This is a game I actually, to be honest, I picked this up because I was looking for something simple to get into and um, yeah, this, this kind of looks pretty simple. I mean, to be honest, this is more like a sort of modern day Besiege. I mean, Besiege being the sort of medieval uh, vehicle builder, this is kind of more of a... I would say more of a, uh, yeah, modern day one would probably be a good a way of describing this. So we have the sandbox island here and a couple of buildings and stuff to destroy. There's a bridge and stuff to just kind of mess around with. So I'm going to build something and we'll see what I can come up with. All right, so here's what I've come up with. Uh, let's just shut it up for now. Uh, I sort of had the idea of... A giant pizza cutter mixed with a Beyblade because it can do this <laughs> and I figured this would somehow be helpful but we got a building over there let's give it a try <laughs> oh yeah no it seems to be working just fine um, slight issue though when we actually destroy anything we sort of end up becoming the foundation of that building. And, uh, oh yeah, so... Collapsing on top of it is, uh, a possibility. Yeah, that doesn't really work, does it? But we can, we can clear the rubble. So that's always good. Ah, see, one downside is that there is an exact height that it destroys things at. So, yeah, I can't... You can see this wall here. I'm not actually doing anything to it. I can't actually move the entire vehicle just by swiveling left and right, which is kind of funny. <laughs> I was like, yeah, I'm just gonna sort of swing my way over. I was like, yep, I'm just gonna do that. <laughs> can I just ram my way through things? Oh, I can just ram my way through things. That, yeah, that works too. I mean, that that's absolutely fine. Alright, we got ourselves a little bit of a stair climb over here. Let's see if we can actually get up there. That seems to climb up it no problem. I do have a slight issue with steering. I'm... I'm... Yeah. I think you can see in the bottom right the actual controls that I'm holding. And it really doesn't like to turn at all. It really does struggle. I think it might be slightly... Okay, it did get slightly stuck there. What am I stuck on? No, it is climbing up it, it just it won't turn when it's there. That's... I think I need some suspension or something. Oh no, I am actually legitimately stuck now. Uh... Wait, hang on. Can I... Can I just wedge myself over on this? Uh, that, that, that seems to be swinging me around enough that it might actually work. Hang on. Okay, I'm pointing at the water now, that's not good. Hey, yep, okay, with enough wiggling, I managed to make myself way up there. I don't know if that's going to keep working. Now, it does seem like the middle of the thing that I've built here is what gets stuck. Yeah, it seems to sort of be in between the tracks, so I'm just kind of wedged. Um, I'm not sure if I can do the same trick here. Uh... We can try. Come on. It, it's sort of working and sort of not. <laughs> it, oh. Hey, we did it. <laughs> See, you don't need to build smart machines. All you really need is... Yeah, something colossally stupid. Oh. Okay, we don't want to break the bridge before we get down there. Okay, this is a slight problem. This is a slight problem. If I break the bridge, I can't get over there. Oh! You see, the problem is I built something that's exactly the right width for the bridge. Because you never really want to do You don't want to be exactly there. Oh. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. It's all okay. Ignore the sounds of crumbling and destruction. 
It's perfectly fine. I'm stuck. Okay, so I think the problem really is, is this the whole thing at the bottom is just too low. And any slight lip is getting stuck. Oh wait, I have a way to get unstuck. Hang on. Activate the saw blades. There we go. The saw blades actually do kind of sound like uh, they don't sound like chainsaws. It says it's a chainsaw. It doesn't sound like a chainsaw. It sounds like a it sounds like a vacuum cleaner. All right. We're getting through it. We are getting through it. Uh, I appear to be carrying a building on top of me right now. Yeah, you see, I've become part of the building here. I... Mm. Oh god, the frame rate's really dying right now, <laughs> looking at that. Um, can I just sort of shift it off of myself here? Can I just do that? Okay, that sort of that that sort of has worked. Let's go back and finish off this building then. See, I, I think what I need is something to tilt the blades to kind of make them uh, tilt down a little bit, so I can hit some of the stuff that's lower down. I think that's the issue: is that I'm not really hitting any of these low walls unless I drive over them. But you know what, this is actually working. And for the first machine I've ever built in this game, I think this is working a little bit too well. <laughs> Considering I put about five minutes of thought into building it, I, I think this is, uh, yeah, this is working a little bit too well. Ah. So, we've reached another problem. <laughs> I can't actually hit the last little bit of this building because we're stuck on the bottom part of it. Well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. This is a very, very, very quick look at Instruments of Destruction. It's available on Steam. It came out earlier this year, and I thought I'd just play it because it did look like a bit of fun. Uh, if you'd like to see more of this, especially see what other contraptions I come up with, please let me know down in the comments. And don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you're brand new here. My name is Panzer. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.